An exciting discovery concerning the operation of the brain is this. Neurophysicists now know that individual aspects of the physical brain can be stimulated to increase production by deciding to increase production and thinking and saying it aloud several minutes per day. Isn't that something? Now think about it. Let's just kind of think about this. Scientists have proven that the way to increase the production of glial cells and of brain, neurons even, but actually neurons are birthed every morning or overnight, but the, the main way to produce or increase production of glial cells, which cause you to be able to think faster and be able to uh, assimilate information quicker and that kind of thing, is simply by deciding to produce more glial cells. So the first thing you do is decide, okay, I'm going to produce more glial cells. Right? You think, well, how do you do that? Well, you can't do it. You can't go in there and do it, <laughs> right? But you, you just decide, I'm going to start producing. Why? Because your body will listen to your decision. You are in control of your body. Now, the amazing thing is, whenever they discovered this, and I'm reading this, and it says that the way to do it is first make a decision, and secondly, speak. Because we have believed, we speak. That's Bible. See, this is, this is it's, it, it, like we said earlier, if the Word of Faith people would ever really get a hold of this, and, you, and they would say, here's our proof. You know, I can just see them now. See, we told you we were right. You know, nah, you know we were right, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so all you have to do is decide, make that decision. Okay, let me ask you this. How do you get saved? You make a decision, and then you confess Jesus. It's the same thing. The, everything works the same way. So it's the same way. The way you get into the kingdom is the way you operate in the kingdom. The kingdom operates by you deciding to believe and then speaking. The way you do, the, your, your body will obey you. Listen, God told Adam, you are to have dominion over everything that creeps upon this earth. Everything that walks, everything that flies, everything that swims. Is that right? Now, which of those three do you do? Right? Well, yeah, you can. Because a man been able to conquer, he can fly through the air, right? With the help of the machine, at this point, generally speaking. Okay? But you also swim, and you also walk. So you have dominion over you. Say, it's amazing. Everybody wants dominion over everybody else. Nobody wants dominion over themselves, right? And we are promised dominion over all this, and, but we are promised dominion first and foremost over ourselves. Recently, I even preached a message on the greatest victory you'll ever achieve is having victory over yourself. Well, that's it. Your body has to listen to yourself. So all you have to do is decide and speak. Now, if you decide to create new glial cells, what do you decide? I want new glial cells. Body, do it. So... Right now, glial cells, I want more of you now, right? So there you go. And it starts reproducing more glial cells, which is going to do what? Enable you to think quicker, faster, assimilate information quicker. See, and if, once you get more glial cells, then when you listen to my CDs, it won't matter how fast I talk. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> right? it'll just be going through there. Now, so, but if, if your body, if you can do that, now think about this. If your body can do that, because they've already proven that, and they've already proven through biofeedback methods and all kinds of things that you can do different things and your body will follow the dictates of your mind and its intentions. That is a fact. Now, it can also, let's say you have, um, uh, you know, different things. Now, there's an aspect where nutrition provides some of the working tools and working components that you might need for certain parts of your body, but you can decide. Uh, you know, different diseases. There are diseases that are due to a lack of red blood cells or, or even white blood cells or, you know, different things or, you know, just different parts of your body, uh, different aspects of your makeup that are missing. What did you just learn? You can decide, I need new red blood cells. I need more white blood cells. So body, produce it. What will it do? It'll start producing. It is that simple. Now, that is not to in any way remove or denigrate or any other way try to say that, you know, we don't need God, we don't need divine healing, we don't need 
you know, faith. We, I, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying there are some things that you can take care of, right? Now, if you get overwhelmed and need help, God is there in his power, in his mercy, in everything he's already provided to provide that instantaneous change that you need to continue to live. But there is also an aspect of you taking responsibility and maintaining what God has given you, right? And so you can actually do that. That has to do with even, you know, uh, minimal exercise, right? I mean, you can, you can be in my healing line every week if you want, or you can get up and take a walk around the block three times a week and probably won't need to be in my healing line as much. You know, it'd be better to do that. And while you're walking, pray. You're not doing enough of it anyway, right? You can always pray more, okay? And as you walk around, take a 45-minute walk and walk and pray. And th that's one of the things you can do. When you pray, pray out loud. Actually pray like you're talking to somebody because you are, right? And now that will tell you when to slow down or when to speed up. Because if you're walking so fast that you can't pray in a normal voice without getting winded, you're walking too fast. Right? Slow down a little bit. You ought to be able to carry on a normal conversation while you're doing it, and that'll put you into the, basically into the aerobic uh, fat-burning zone. Right? So now you're doing several good for yourself, several levels of good for yourself, as opposed to just you know, getting exercise, just increase, because the more... The more you breathe like that, the more oxygen goes to your brain, the easier it is for your body to produce these things. So it's all holistic in the sense that you can actually create this chain reaction that starts to carry through, and before long, you don't even need to be in my heat line. Right? Now, you enter into that with areas of nutrition, that kind of stuff, and you can do it even better and faster. It's just that simple. So God made us to function this way. You know, but the, the highlight to me, though, is that any part of my body that needs help I can speak to and command it to obey me. 